Jesus came, we're told, preaching about a big idea. His big idea was called the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is not coterminous with the church, but God's plan A was that his churches at local level would be signs of that kingdom. The kingdom being a place where uh, justice and kindness would reign, where people were safe, where people who needed to be looked after were looked after properly, where people who had enough, mo people had enough money uh, to meet their everyday needs. But Jesus didn't just come with a mission, he, he came with a message, and the message was that we need to get reconnected with God. And that will always be the central pillar of any church's, I think any diocese's uh, strategy. Our strategy for the years 2016 to 2018 has recognised the challenge that we face. That uh, there are very few people between the ages of 10 and 40 within our churches. That's a reality. If we keep doing things the same way, then we are really not going to achieve the vision we believe God has placed in our hearts. We've got to think of new ways of working that are going to engage with the different age groups in our society, but also engage with people for whom the church is, well, just a bit of a cosy club for those who like that sort of thing. It's really interesting, isn't it, that St. Paul, uh, in his letter to the church in Ephesus, uh, describes the church as a body, and how each part of the body needs the rest of the body. You know, the hand can't say to the foot, I don't need you. We need each other to fulfill our mission as a church. All of the gifts and all of the skills aren't in the hand or the foot or even in the head. It's as those gifts and skills come together that the church is going to be at its most fruitful. So what we're doing, you know, isn't rocket science. It isn't something that we've invented. It isn't management speak. It has its basis in scripture, in a really deep understanding of what the church is and how it functions best. What we want to do is to share the blessing of God across a wider area of our diocese. And the only way I can see that that can happen is we have to make a new commitment to working together. So this is not an attempt to dismantle the parochial ministry, but a way of trying to make it stronger, not least in the light of our limited resources. The idea is, and we've consulted widely on this, is that we will work together in new ways that will help us to spread good practice and hopefully, by prayer, spread uh, the blessing that God is giving in certain areas of our diocese. None of this is in place of those traditional spiritual disciplines of the church, prayer and giving and fasting and worshiping. These kind of things that are very central to our faith. So we face the reality of where we are now with a vision of where we can be. And into that, we believe God does amazing things. We long to see uh, growth and encouragement and a new vigor uh, for what it means to be church. Our local churches are meant to be a sign of the kingdom. That's why we need the bigger picture, that's why we need one another, and that's why we need a plan. I would love you to be a part of this move forward together in sharing the blessing of God in our diocese and anywhere we have influence.